So we know that for the distribution function fx equals one over m e minus x over m, not the distribution function, but the density function, uh, the mean is m and the variance is m square. So for this one, the mean will be 16. Expected value of x is the mean of x. And the variance will be the square of 16, which is 256. And standard deviation is the square root of variance, which is 16. Okay. Now, this one, normally you would find this kind of expected value by integrating this x plus seven whole square against this uh, function, but that would mean integration by parts and we want to avoid it. So here's a clever way of doing it. We first write the x plus seven square in expanded form. So that'd be e of x squared plus 14x plus 49. And then we use the property that the expected value distributes like this. So it'd be e of x squared plus 14ex plus 49. And we have e of x. So the question is how to get e of x squared. And to get e of x squared, we use, so let's call this equation number one. So we use the fact that variance of x is equal to e of x squared minus e x whole square. That's true for any random variable, not just exponential. So we know that the variance here was 256 equals e of x squared. And e of x was 16, so 16 squared. And now when you move the 16 squared on the other side, you get e of x squared equals 256 plus 16 squared, which would be 512. And now substituting in one, Substituting in one, we get um, the left side of it was e of x plus seven squared. And so equals e of x squared, which is 512. That's 14 times e of x, so 14 times 16 plus 49. Okay, so 16 times 14 is uh, 224, plus 512 is 736, plus 49, so 785. 